was and we were working for another bakery and uh, one day was jogging and saw an empty lot in Brooklyn actually and called me and said hey you know I have a crazy idea that maybe I want to open a bakery and she asked me if I want to do it I said right, well, why not you know <laughs> what's the worst that can happen Nothing, you know. Then we just had to figure out how to bake, and uh, we did that out of my apartment on 30th Street. And Wilco was, you know, kind enough to sell to these two beatniks, you know, with coming with cash, you know. We'd go up to the loading dock, like, can we get 15 dozen eggs and a bag of flour? We came up with this name, A Sugar Sweet Sunshine, because interestingly enough, we were on our way downtown. We'd never been to the Lower East Side. We had no idea where, where Rivington Street was. And we were coming down to see this space for the first time. We had an appointment with the landlord. And we were walking down Bowery um, by Bleecker, where it intersects. And as we're walking, we walked over a piece of graffiti that was etched in the cement. And it said, in a, in, in a big heart, sugar sweet sunshine. And underneath it said, love. I went back and like, wow, look at, we like that. But I think we both wrote happened. down names. We yeah, did. I think we had a bunch of different <laughs> names. And I think one night we just both were like, we really like this. Yeah, we like this one. I started talking to the people at Wilco, and they're very nice. And I, I felt like there was already a little bit of a relationship there. So when Deb and I started, it seemed like, you know, Call them. Yeah, and anytime you know prices have gone up, you know, we'll call them and they're like, you know, we can try to work with you on stuff. Let's see, like, maybe we can bring this down, you know, because we can't do so much, but at least they're willing to and you know, to work with us. And um, that goes a long way. Yeah. And we send them a Christmas card every year. And they, send I know they really too. they look forward to the Christmas yeah. card. It's a relationship. They've been with us from the very beginning. So, you know, say like, what's your favorite thing? I don't know. The fact that they, you know, are still with us and we're still with them. It's probably my favorite fact. Right? <laughs> Is that they're still around? So away. <laughs> there have been occasions where we, we have forgotten to order like eggs, you know, or something <laughs> vital, you know, like the heavy cream. Yeah. Sometimes it's like if you don't have, if you're completely out of it, out of sight, out of mind, you don't even think to reorder it. So it's not like I'll have to call them and say, you know, I ordered this and you guys didn't bring it. You can just literally be very honest and say, oh, I forgot. You know. So still send the driver out. Yeah. Yeah. It's always an appetite. <laughs>